majesty? Conversion of Ka'ahumanu was written while I was a graduate student at the university. It's over 20 years old now. The good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The news of Jesus Christ? Yes. They say that conflict is the soul of drama. And at that time in Honolulu, there was so much conflict and so much relentless change that it's just, you know, the conflict is organic to any kind of story I think you want to tell about that time period. Holly, do you like it here at the mission home? Yes. Here, I hide nothing. Well, Sister Thurston and I have talked it over, and we would like to know if you will stay and work for us. Stay? You will have duties. We need some help very much. Uh, but don't expect pay. We have no money. But we can give you clothes, food, shelter. And your father may come and visit you here. You don't care what I am. We know what you are. Kind, honest, hardworking. We do expect you to study the way of our God. Well, certainly, um, you know, having my play produced at the National Museum of the American Indian is a great honor. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to share some of our history and a point of view that people might otherwise not be exposed to. From Kamehameha, I learned to strike swiftly and with strength. But my heart weeps for the death of Kekwo Kalani and his faithful woman, Manono, who fought by his side. Now the old gods have lost their power and will go. Have I done right? Or have I done great evil? I took down things that I knew to be false. But will I, Ka'ahumanu, be able to guide these islands? Be able to guide the people? The people have no gods, only the elite. How will I steer the canoe? I think, you know, you can understand a certain amount about native people by reading nonfiction, but when you experience a culture through fiction, whether it's through a novel or through the theater or sometimes even through performing arts, you start to understand people in a different way that's a little more personal and in a way that you can, as another human being, you can identify with. So I think there's great value in Native people being able to tell their stories in um, all kinds of genres. And, you know, fiction and theater, they, they present culture and history in a way that nonfiction can't, can't do. Somebody said, told me once, yeah, if you want the facts, you read nonfiction. If you want the truth, you know, look to fiction and drama. 